Hey, I see memories. I shall sing in the sky. Mr. Wasnata, are you cool? Odem. So the idea for this interview, Kofi Kenata, is that I want to get to know you, how you have been shaped by Sekendi Takradi and Sky Power. But first of all, tell me, who is Kofi Kenata? Kofi Kenata is also a young boy who grew up in Takradi, spent almost all his youthful stages in Takradi, went to school in Takradi, born and bred there, as Takradi people use the popular term, born there, died there, means like indigenous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm Martin Kenata. My, that's my real name, Martin Kenata. Kenata is my surname. Mm -hmm. But for me to feel a little African, I decided to use Kofi because I was, I, I'm a Friday born. So that's Kofi Kenata, the, the showbiz name. Yeah, I grew up in a few Kuma. In fact, that is where I, I am flat. Like, I'm, I'm based in Accra more, but whenever I go home, if you come is home. My dad is a preacher. Like, my dad and mom have been together for, like, for a very long time. But as I grew up, I saw my mom and dad together. I never saw them once that they, they like, fighting or one of, one of them raising their voice. So the charity in there, it was from home. I was, I was brought up in a, in a Christian home. To go to Sunday school, though I was the black sheep, but uh, you dare not. My dad will try to like put you in your place. I was allowed to play, but you make you come home around, so you make sure when it's so you come home. I was allowed to do everything so fast, like it's not a bad thing for a child to play. I, I was allowed to play. I used to play football a lot. Everybody thought I would be a footballer. Well, unfortunately, I didn't. Like, fortunately, I wouldn't say unfortunately. Fortunately, I didn't play football. Uh, it's not my source of, like, when I want to exercise, I like, play football. The music thing, I think, uh, it was from my mom, because I was told my great great grandfather was a musician back in their village. But he used to play the locally made guitar mm -hmm. sing along. So like it was popularly known in in the area there. I'm from a jam and from the royal family. I can be a chief of a jam any moment from now. Mm -hmm. That is where my mom is from. So I'm I'm a typical tardy boy. Yeah. The music thing I think it, it was from my mom. My mom has been composing lullaby. Like mm -hmm. yeah, my mom will be singing some kind of song which me as a kid, I think everybody knows how to sing it. But later I realized it was my mom's song. My mom composed it. So yeah, she had like ten lullabies for me, for my senior brother, my for my senior sister. Like that is what my mom does. She has a very good voice. Just like my like my female siblings. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, that was from my mom, when I was a kid, my mom would keep telling me, I want you to sing, I want you to be a musician or a footballer. I was very troubled, so I used to fight a lot. So she would warn me, if you become a boxer and you give me money, I will not take it. <laughs> you will not be my, yeah, you will not be my son if you become a boxer. So straight from childhood, my mom used to tell me, I want you to be a musician or a footballer. So, that was it. So the music thing, yeah, I think it's from my mom, how to compose. That was thing from my mom. Mm -hmm. And my, my kind of thinking was from my dad. My dad is a preacher and a lecturer at the Bible College. He's very, very deep, very, very deep, very simple. And, and I don't care. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't give a damn. Like, nothing worries him. He's someone who will say, who will tell you, Kofi, oh, they just told me my sister, my sister died, so I'm eating my jollof after I go and put it in the mug, like something like that. <laughs> Very matter of factly. So, yes, my dad is that type. Or as we uh, say in fancy, or yeah. can or can pain pain. Pain pain, like <laughs> very, or, or nothing worries him, mm -hmm. or to life as it. So very simple and principled. Don't do this. Do this. I can't remember there was a show at Sky Power. If I, I, I like. 
straight from childhood, I love entertainment. I will play football and then I will, I will try to go to wherever there's a the program. So I went to Sky Power FM. You know, they used to bring artists. So I was very young. I think like 10, 12. Yeah. That, that age, yeah. So I told, my, my daddy wasn't around. So I, I asked permission. For, I, I couldn't have asked permission from my dad. So He would say no. Fortunately, yeah, fortunately he wasn't around. So I, I told my mom, I, w- I would like to go and watch the program. And my mom said no, because she was afraid of what my dad would come and do when he asked, she gave me the permission. So my mom said no. I said no, I want to go. My mom said no. So my mom didn't accept, but I just went. My mom thought I was asleep. I went there and I came home late. The way my dad was very mad at me. I came home... <laughs> seeing the, my neighbors holding my dad and talking to him. And, you know, I came home very late. I came home around 1. 1 a.m.? You know, oh, my goodness. At 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. The, I was like 10, 11, 12. The, yeah. yeah. The program ended around 4. But me, I, even, I even came home earlier. You came home earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you were yeah. trying to be a good boy. I saw, yes. I saw people holding my dad, talking to my dad. Ah, what is this? It was all because of me. So the way he was mad, he decided to sign a bond with me. So he brought a book. We signed a bond. I will not go to any program at this time without the permission of my dad. Then sign, son, Kofi Martin Kenata. Sign, dad, Charles Kenata. So we <laughs> like, like, like a contract. <laughs> yes, mem- we do mem- things like mem- that. Memorandum of understanding. Understanding because he was very mad and they told him not to beat me. So, yes. So, loving entertainment, uh, those people who were closer to me when I was growing up, they, they knew, um, like, I love composing songs on my own, putting lyrics, my own lyrics in already made songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to play football and I didn't know what happened. A friend took me to the studio. I used to write for the friend. So, yeah. th- and, he, he came again and he was like, this time around, I want you to, after writing my own for me, I want you to sing some. So I did a rap verse in it and the, the engineer was like, you know, cornered me, called me and said, these friends are not serious. If you want to do music, <laughs> come alone. I, I will alone. play it for you. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even go there again. So I didn't, I, I, I can't point, pinpoint that this is when I started doing music. I just saw myself like doing music i think my after the first track with the friend people mm-hmm. i started getting some fans so i couldn't disappoint them i just have to do something for them again so we did another one and the, the fan base kept increasing i went mm-hmm. for the katahari in melody fm yeah. melody fm and that was it the post i kept cherishing what i was doing because those days people were trying to be like they trying to be like wakase trying to be like at them, they, they were intercrowded the rapping in three, if you have him, because they think that would, that would take them there. But as real as I was, I just went there, spoke fancy, tiny fancy, if you more fancy, spoke just like I'm talking. Yeah. And the people could relate. They were like, oh. So, so I made them, like they were proud, they could relate. So this is our own. Oh, so we, we can do rap with our own language too. So the, the love started from there and up to now, they are, they are the ones who, who have kept me going. Like, they will not stop supporting. They, will, they are always demanding for music and I can't stop. I just have to do it for them. You, you've kind of uh, become a gift to the community. And given the talent you have, plus your background and how your mother used to, to um, sing those lullabies to you that you thought everybody mm-hmm. knew, it was mm-hmm. bound to happen in your life that you become a musician that you are. It, it was going to happen. It was a matter of uh, mm-hmm. when, you know. Uh, yeah. But yeah. then uh, also, <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking back to when you were 10, 11, 12 or whatever year it was mm-hmm. that uh, mm-hmm. you uh, came to Sky to attend one of the many uh, programs, the ones we organized for other mm-hmm. musicians when they mm-hmm. visited. Mm-hmm. I, I can imagine that we will probably have seen you then thinking, uh, that boy, he doesn't seem to have his parents with him. Hope he'll be all right or something yeah. like that, you know. <laughs> yeah. But of course, Takradi back then 
and I'm sure uh, <laughs> even now it's a reasonably safe place. You know, we see kids mm-hmm. under age, you know, coming to places with yeah. uh, elders, and we people from Namanai will, will go there. They you know they are closer to Skype, but people from Namanai will go. So if you if you manage. I can't go there. Exactly. And we weren't too worried, mm-hmm. you know, about children because, you know, we were all one community, isn't it? You know, we yeah. people were not really yeah. scared, uh, you know, yeah. like that. But uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is your memories of Sky because Sky was um, established the 5th of October, 1997. And by my calculation, and correct me if I'm wrong, in 1997, mm-hmm. you would have been about six or seven years old. Seven years. You were seven years old. Yeah. So what do you remember from that age when this radio station came to town with a distinctive name like Sky Power FM? Uh, you know, back in the day, no, a child at my age will not even pay attention to whatever is going on on the radio but because i loved music i was that was the only place you can you can listen to like music apart aside the funerals and parties the radio too is like a, it plays a major role so i was listening to, i listened to fm stations a lot like we have fm stations like we had another fm station it was twin city so my mom and dad who our radio is always on Twin City. They will listen to their news. Of course, at the BBC News or something. I will just be waiting for the for the songs they will play. Mm-hmm. So later on, I was told they will say FM, eh, FM, FM, Aba, FM, I But later, I was told there's another FM station. <laughs> you see, we were listening to Twin City, mm-hmm. which I don't even remember much. But Sky Power came. I saw Sky Power, so uh, that, like I was, I was into Sky Power, and they they gave another face to entertainment. Since it's nobody will go and call any artist to come and perform for you. The things were done in, I would say, I would just use Kolo, but you know, it, yeah, it, it's like go- government some, controlled, yeah, go- government controlled. They have some they, like some kind of thing that they do over there. But Sky Power came, introduced everything on the radio. Like they were young, I wouldn't say the presenters were young, but they were they were showing young young they were doing young young activities where they they bring hip they play hip hop hip life they bring uh, hip life artists and things like that. And what I remember, uh, one person I remember is Uncle Pia. Yeah, you will be sleeping and my mom will come and wake you up. Uncle Pia, when I don't want answer, yeah, you will sleep and you have to wake up and, mm-hmm. and go. And when I was in school, when I was going to school too, there's this song that they, they always play. Jolly Big Fast Show, right? Is it Jolly Big Fast Show? It is, uh, let me see if yeah. I can remember. Let me see. So here's me. This song. Here's me trying to sing to the musician. Um, it's Jolly Breakfast Show. Tell mommy and daddy. Tell mommy and daddy. The show, show is on. on. Yeah, one yeah, one 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 show. I'm on for Yeah, yeah, Jolly, Jolly Breakfast Show. show. One can change with that food. Yeah, and they will play. There's another program. I don't know if it's the same Jolly Blue Fashion. They will play a song. Everybody must work. Work hard. Work, work. Everybody, Everybody must work. work. Is, is, is that the same uh, Jolly Blue Fashion? Yeah, it is. Uh, working is the thing that everyone that should know. know. Everybody must work. <laughs> Everybody must work. Yeah. Work so you'll be going to school. <laughs> yes. Every morning, and that is the song you will hear when you wait, after Uncle Pia is waking you up. You will hear that song, Jolly Jolly Big Fat Show. Then it, when I, I can remember the, this memory, like when you go into school mm-hmm. in the morning, you're trying to get up and like you, you're trying to prepare for school. Looking for your book by bag. You must talk to the mother train. You hear everybody must work. Yeah. <laughs> work so, yeah. Yes. Yes. So they, they, they change the face of entertainment in, in the Western region. For occasions, you have to go to Sky Power. They will, we have artists coming, so you have to go there. And yeah, a lot of the musicians started their career on that platform. Unfortunately, 
I was too young for that thing. But when they started doing their, like the carnival, oh, so we started yes, performing the uncles, on the uncles, the masqueraders. Yes, that was yeah. When they started the carnival, that was when we started performing with them. For those days, we go there and we watch people perform. The likes of uh, Joko Tu, Agukuntu, Agukuntu, yes, Joko Tu and uh, this guy. So sometimes they say boxing day, they 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 will, they will talk about boxing, they, they will fight and blah 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 blah. We will go there and watch. Like it was, it was a whole lot. In fact, Kai Power. So, oh, our memories, our FM station memories is from Sky Power, I tell you. <laughs> All right, let me tell you how I got to know about you, right? I <laughs> was on Apple Music and uh, just wanted mm-hmm. to look for Ghanaian music. And then I saw the name Kofi Kanata um, and I thought, oh, let me play it, you know. And I played the song, Eradi Beji Siyano. You know, uh-huh. I listened to it once and I thought, okay, now that is Ghanaian music, but that's different. First of all, I can feel uh-huh. a Takradi vibe in it, you know, yes. the Fanti yes. is there, yes. you know, and I'm thinking, all right. Um, and because I was right there when Sky started, I just thought uh-huh. if there is a musician of that kind, which happened to be you there, I should know. But I didn't know mm-hmm. anything about you because I've, I've, been, I've been gone away from Ghana now for 15 years. And then I listened mm-hmm. more. And then I thought, so I reached out to, I don't know if you know my colleague, Pa Kofi I reached yes, out to Kofi Nyakon, my house before. Yeah. So you I used to listen to him too. He was very loud. If loud and funny. And, ah, you know, and he played the don't know the drum no, on the yes, uh, yes, on the radio, yes. yeah, you know. Yes. So I reached out to him, you know, because look, if I don't know something, there's always someone I know who would know what I need to know. So I reached out to him yes. and said, "Oh yeah, that guy uh, Kofi Kenata, he's he's going to be big. He's reaching out for something big." And I said, "But who is he? How come I don't know him? You know, because it's like." I have mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. Me- this mindset. I have to know everything that happens yes, in Takradi yes. because at some point in time, that yes. is what it was for me. But I've been gone for a long time, yeah. you know. And then yeah. I started following your music, and then I realized, no way. Just as Paco Finyakun told me that there is a certain talent here that even you yourself are not aware of. You are not aware of the extent to uh, the extent of your capability, you know, and. <laughs> Every time you drop a single, it's like you just moved it a notch further, you know? So I thought, Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. so I I started kind of trying to learn a bit more about you, knowing that if that talent came out of Takradi, Sky Power FM would have to have something to do with it. And that was just my own suspicion, only to find out that I was absolutely right <laughs> you know so yeah. um, it meant that i admired you a lot from a distance and i felt a sense of closeness to you because you were basically spitting back to us what takradi was what sky mm-hmm. power did for takradi and how the whole mm-hmm. community just came together to embrace sky and all of the people that made a big difference there. It, it just amazes me how um, how my I felt like my instincts. I had a right instinct to yes. about you yes. that this guy is truly a true product of Takradi of Secondi Takradi. <laughs> Sky Power, they've mm-hmm. done a lot. They have done. They've done a lot. Even those days when the DATV and the Champions League thing wasn't common. They had the amphitheater over there. They show like Champions League matches. So we walk all the way from Ifukma to go there. The direction is at Skype or everybody's walking. I, I can't remember we watched this Champions League final. It was between, I don't know if it was semi finals, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Yeah. And even the Bayern Munich fans and Real Madrid fans watching the, the football together ended up fighting. <laughs> 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 that, that was how serious it, it was. They ended up fighting. Like people came with with trumpets. We were everybody was cheering his team. 
Bayern Munich and Madrid was Ronaldo days, like the senior Ronaldo. I'm not talking about Sergio Ronaldo. Yeah. The Oliver Kahn days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they they showed us a lot. They, like they were, I would say, some eye opener for Takradi or Western region. And when you say you walk from Efe Kuma, I think I can understand what you mean. The feeling mm-hmm. you get from walking all the way yes. and walking mm-hmm. with other people, or maybe your friends, while you're talking yes. about it, yes. yes. there's yes. some feeling in there, isn't it? We discussed in the match before, yeah. And when, whenever we are going to, they, there's an entertainment over there, they bring, whenever there's an artist. In fact, they showed us a lot of artists that we didn't know in Takradi. Mm-hmm. They brought Kobna Kobna, when Kobna Kobna was at its peak. They brought Kobna Kobna or Kofo Kwade. Whenever Castro is coming, it's just like some homecoming. They brought everybody from Akitechi to Nana Kwame. They, everybody, everybody was at Sky Power. They bring them there, we walk, we go and cheer them up, we go and have fun, they will come home. So, the days of Sky Power was was a very memorable one. Like they, they gave us a lot. Our childhood memory wouldn't be like complete without Sky Power. I'm also impressed by how Takradi kind of got into you. You know, just as uh, you are into Takradi as well, because mm-hmm. um, I don't know if you know uh, Kojo Frimpong Shakes from Sky Power FM as well. Of course, he moved on later on to Joy FM and then to TV3. I interviewed him as part of this book. Uh, about Kujo from Pong, Kujo from Pong. Kujo from Pong, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he was, Kujo from Pong. He went to TV Africa, right? Uh, he would he have gone went to, to TV. TV Africa. Yes, yes, yes. You know, he's been to I know a him. few. He's a very good friend. I have the number. <laughs> he tried, <laughs> he, he tried politics. I think he last, did, he yeah. did, he did. He wanted yes, to become exactly. a member of he parliament. Was, he tried to take me there for a campaign. I told him, you know, you know like, he, he, like he was understanding. No, He's my no, friend. No, no you, politics. You, you, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I interviewed him a few days ago for the book that I'm uh, researching to write because that is how the true story of Sky can be told. So Kujo Frimpong was telling me that when uh, you, Kofi Kenata, started singing yeah he said he told people that unless you live in takradi you know secondary takradi mm-hmm. and you speak the fanti and you speak our particular secondary takradi language you won't understand what the guy is singing you know and, yeah, so and like i have to dilute the, you have to dilute the, the way huh? because, for them to understand because <laughs> they wouldn't yeah because uh, the moment he said it i said to myself I know exactly what Kujo Frimpong is talking about because we're all Takradi people, secondly Takradi people. We know what we're talking. We know our language. We know our culture. We know our feelings, you know? And uh, so mm-hmm. um, I, the interview is not out or anything, but I took mm-hmm. a portion of the interview between uh, himself and um, between the two of us and I mm-hmm. overlaid some of the talking on one of your music called Play, you know? I think it's, yeah, for some yeah. reason, it's one of my favorites, you know? <laughs> Mom Melody. <laughs> Mom Melody, <laughs> you know? The way you started with If You Kuma, you know? And I, I, I just yeah. love it. And, you know, after the interview, I'll share the track with you. You know, you, you do what you think. Uh, it's probably uh, illegal to do so because you can't take someone's music yeah. and mix it. But uh, with Kofi Kinate's music and Takradi, I, I'll try and they just share it with you and see what <laughs> you think of it. But what okay. it, it was so interesting hearing both of us discussing Sekendi Takradi, our culture, our ways, our music, the influence of uh, CK Man, and Papa Yangson, the mm-hmm. talent, the talent, ta- the talent is overflowing. You know, I mean, your mother would probably have been a better musician than you, but she never had a chance. Yeah. You know, because yeah. the, the talent is everywhere. It's like Brazil. When you talk about soccer, mm-hmm. isn't it? You go to Brazil. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people joke Everybody that you, yeah, you can walk on the street, select uh, you let eleven people randomly, <laughs> they can beat any team because. <laughs> Everybody knows how to play. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So in, in Secondly Takradi, there was something similar there. But obviously, 
your mother, your background, uh, the force of Sky Power FM, all of that transformed you into a unique musician. But you, you can't take Melody FM out. Tell me though, how, how Melody FM also helped you in um, discovering yourself. I think it was through the Akatahari. It's a, it's a rap show. You have a host, or Hinoba Kwame Amufa. He will come, he will group us like, we are like printy boys. They will battle us, we, they form us into groups. We just will battle this, we will be battling ourselves. So we have like, like 12 finalists. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, then they will pick the winner. Though the, the sponsorship wasn't that, yeah, but we were rapping for for pride. Like, you, you rap because of your pride. You want to protect your territory. Like, <laughs> stuff like that. That was, yeah, that's just when I went there with Tadi Fante, started rapping with, like, the avenues over there, joints, connect, like, people could relate. People were feeling like, yo, this is, this is our own. That that was my strategy over there. I've been I've been biased when it comes to Takradi. You dare not speak ill of Takradi. Even on Facebook, I'll come to your inbox <laughs> and try to discuss things with you. It's either you pull it down or yeah, it's me and you in your inbox. I can't come on your wall because yeah, people will be you no, know, I'll come to your inbox. So when I see these people trying to discuss where side legacy. I hope you've heard where side legacy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, trying to discuss you've said where it, you've, legacy. You've mentioned it in some of your songs, yes. Yes, yes. That where side legacy was, they were by us. They, they were by us. They, they had their, their favorite, but the table turned. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they, they were using the West side legacy to promote some people that they feel like and they deserve it. They are the ones, but the table ten. But then I was, I was young. I was very like small. I came into the game not so long ago. So people felt like you. He just came. Who is he? We we've been doing this. Yeah, but so they were. They had their favorite, but table ten. And I moved on. I was the one carrying the mantle for now. Table bet ten. Uh, table bet ten. <laughs> Level bet <laughs> ten. Yeah, okay. Ten over ten. <laughs> <laughs> I actually found. Uh, Esse, the actual fact in there, me a Arsenal fan, into Mister Broken. Mister Broken. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's funny even as you speak. Arsenal fan. You know, yeah. If, even as you speak, um, mm-hmm. you know the words you use. In the tone of your voice brings back memories of some of your songs. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you yeah. you forgive me for referring to one of your songs called uh, yeah, "Single." Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you are your song. You are your song. Yeah. <laughs> you, you give what you have. You don't give what you don't have. <laughs> so you are you are the song. You are your song. You preach what you practice. Exactly. Yeah. The, yeah. People should people should recognize even your voice. When you talk, people should say, "Oh, this is this boy song is this one." You shouldn't. Uh, I, I believe in like being real. Yeah. Yeah. So the West Side Legacy thing that I was talking about. Yeah. So later table ten, and it was a different story. Yeah. When when I see them, sometimes I just feel like, "Yo, which one for himself? Let them do what they want to do." But, <laughs> Sometimes too, I feel like oh, I could help. When I started using the West, it wasn't popular. I started using the West Legacy, West Legacy in my song. Mm-hmm. That is when people started paying attention to the West Side Legacy. Any song that they say West Side Legacy, and even I'm the one who goes to FM station and try to try to define their West Side Legacy. They don't even have definition for their West Side Legacy. So I was asked, "What is this West Side Legacy?" And I told them, "Oh, you know." Uh, Takrade has seen a lot of musicians, CK man, Papa Yance, you know, they, they, they laid down some legacies, like some blueprint that we, blueprint that we are trying to follow. So we say West Side Legacy in our song to remember ourselves that we have a legacy that we need to go according to. And okay, the people were like, oh, it's understandable, but 
the rare West allegation members don't even know this. I just gave them this definition that they can carry along. <laughs> we are royals. When you cannot talk about music, good music, without talking about Western region. So we remember ourselves with the West Side legacy for you to know that we have, you have a legacy to follow. You can't delay, you can't do whatever you want. There's a legacy of good music, red terms, melody, and sweet, sweet stuff in, in Western region, and you have to go according to. So th- those are the terms that, when we say West Side legacy, we keep in mind. And it's not for nothing that we say the best comes from the West. There's yeah. a, a, a historical le- reason. The legacy, yeah, as you said, is there. For us, the best comes from the West. For us, we that even inspires us to do more. But mm-hmm. for those things, so for those outsiders saying the best comes from the West, they, they are just joyful singers. FF. <laughs> they are giving you FF. Fake fans. And that is why your creativity is v- rather helpful to the West Side legacy because, look, there are people who've never been to Sekendi Takradi before, but they heard Sekendi Takradi mm-hmm. from you in your songs mm-hmm. because you're always promoting it. You know, I know Ifye Kuma mm-hmm. very well. Yeah. And when I hear you say yeah. Ifye Kuma in a song, I talk, I go like, yeah, mm-hmm. that is nice, you know. Uh, that's adding value. And while mm-hmm. I say that, how about, I'm about to, I'm going to place this thing, um, Forgive me if it doesn't sound well, but here it is. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me what song that is. <laughs> What's, tell me what song that is. Because this is a song, I don't think it is on Apple Music, even though it's your song. Hey, I see memories. I shall sing in the sky. Mr. Wasnata, are you cool? Odem? Nyano, what shall I sing in the 1997, my man in America. Yeah, I, I, I did it and it was a gift to Sky Power. So I didn't want to be making money out of it. I just gave it to them. They didn't mm-hmm. order me to do it. I just did it as a gift for the anniversary, yeah. for the role they've played. I don't think they, they appreciated this song enough. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like they, they just treated this song as a male song, but they didn't know what what is behind this song. Like They wouldn't know too. I don't blame them. And do you know what? I'm glad you could say that. You know, and you know why why I would agree with you? Before I arranged this interview with you, I had been going mm-hmm. around you, researching, mm-hmm. finding out as much as possible. And what I suspect is this, that the influence you feel, the inspiration you got from all these young guys that have gone through Sky. All this music mm-hmm. and melodies you heard and how your mother comes into the picture with her own lullaby with you. How you mm-hmm. were li- listening to Opian, Uncle Opian in the morning and the mm-hmm. Jolly Breakfast Show and all that. Mm-hmm. It's made mm-hmm. a lot more impact on you. You feel a lot more impact than we think you have. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when you sang the song, well, it was like, it's as if it's just and a jingle that you play Mm -hmm. maybe once a week and forget about it but funnily Mm -hmm. i never knew i never knew about this song at all it was as i said to Mm -hmm. you in the text message it was um nana kwesi kumsen that i reached out to and he said to me hey Mm -hmm. did you know on the 20th anniversary kuvi kenata did a song for sky and i felt ashamed because I thought I should know everything about yeah, Sky, especially yeah. when I am researching to write a book. So I said, come on, mm-hmm. get me the music. And sure enough, I've listened to it so many times and I'm thinking I should be able to hear this far more often. And the fact that I don't know at all, is it's sad. So that is why I understand you. Uh, I was even waiting for them to to call and be like, oh, we, we want to arrange for a video for this song. Because they need a, this, is, they can do their documentary with this song. Sky Power FM 
93.5 Western and Central Gandhi na Titi Secret Radio Yes, are you cool?